Hey, this is Alexis with Alexis Reads and welcome back to my channel. So today is about my little mini book haul that I did and super excited. I have not been purchasing um, many books this year, which I'm very proud of. And I actually went on a four or five month book ban which I did great with, I did break it, um, but I've been really focusing on reading more books that I have. First up, I'm actually gonna start off with Knockout 2, which is A Quarter Frost and Starlight, and A Quarter Silver and Flames. I'm not gonna spend too much time on this because I am gonna do a separate video of the first books, A Quarter Thorns and Roses. It's really well known. You can find a million and one videos or synopsis over it, um, but this is a very high fantasy, um, book adult fantasy book and I absolutely love it I'm a personally big fan of this whole storyline and this is my first Sarah J Mass read and definitely became a fan of her and her writing and just everything about the book so this is book four then hopefully I'm gonna be starting really soon because I'm ready to dive back into this world in book four Five. So if you watched my other video about some tips about audiobooks I briefly mentioned that there is an audiobook kind of thing called graphic audio do a full cast graphic audio is basically a full cast so you have a different voice actor for every single character in the book fantastic and so A Court of Thorns and Roy Roses that whole series I would definitely suggest you do the graphic audio but they're only up to book three and within book three they only have two out of the three parts out so after I finished it, I had to pick up the physical copy and read it because I could not wait for it to come out, but it's great. So this is book four and five, and hopefully I'll let y'all know my thoughts about it. I picked up three other books that are not any fantasy books. They are nonfiction books, kind of self-help, spiritual guide books. So the first one I'm gonna start off with is The Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz. And this book is very popular. It's been around for over 15 years. And this book has been in my life when it came out in the 90s. So my mother was the one who, like in my household, we had every single type of religious book you can think of, every single type of spirituality. Oops, I forgot, sorry, I had my mic on. Oh no. Um, every type of spirituality book that you can think of as well. And so that just opened my mind up, mind up when I, at a very young age. Uh, about just different religions, different spiritualities. This book, again, she got when it first released. And so I'm really glad to see many more people are into the book. It's been a guideline for so many. And for me personally, it's definitely my form of a Bible. Um, it's just, like I said, guided me throughout my life. At a young age, I would pick it up. And as I got older, I would just appreciate it more and more because it was in my life, like at seven or eight, I definitely did not understand the whole entire concept. But I just loved how my mom was always just like, you know what, hey, you do not have to be a specific religion at all, but sit and pick up books and read about it and ask questions about either spirituality or religion. And so that's how my household was, which is filled of different books. And definitely this one is at the cornerstone of when it comes to any type of spirituality books, this is definitely it. The Four Agreements, super popular, definitely recommend you get it. It is short, quick, and easy to read. And the way that Don was able to truly put everything up in a way that that is very digestible and you can apply it immediately that's what i love about it so this is my go-to anytime things are hard um, when things aren't hard this is just my go-to book the reason why i purchased it again is because i always lend out these books i know book lovers it's hard to let people borrow books because you know they won't you won't come back sometimes so i didn't receive many copies back this is probably like my sixth time buying that book so i'm no longer this book is no longer for borrow at all um the woman at the bookstore the local bookstore i went to she said you know what it's time to you know share knowledge not books and i agree because now i'm going to share the knowledge about this book but i am no longer having it for for people to borrow uh, but love to support don miguel and it's, it's a fantastic book speaking of borrowing or letting people borrow books here's another one of How to Love, oh my goodness, How to Love by Thich Nhat Hanh um, is another book that's constantly been in the household for quite some time. So Thich Nhat Hanh is really well known and really considered the pioneer of bringing Buddhism to the West. He was born in 1920s and just passed away earlier this year, January 2022. And so he has, I mean, written over a hundred books about mindfulness. Um, he's just, uh, 
I mean, truly, I mean, the, the list could go on and on. I don't want this video to be just about him, but Thich Nhat Khan is incredible. So if you never heard of him, um, definitely pick up his books. I'm sure many, if you never even read his books, I'm sure you've seen his books around. And How to Love is one of my favorites. Another one, I've let several people borrow many of my copies and I just no longer doing it anymore. I wanted to have the physical copy. I do also have the digital copy. But his books are also a great way where you can read it and apply it. And it's just beautiful writing to me. He also has a recent video, not that long ago, but this is what I love. And this is what I want to practice as well. It's about not waiting until you have some type of really strong emotions to go into your practice and uh, just to constantly be in practice. So when things get rough, that you'll be ready for it. Or like he'll explain when the storm's coming, like, you know, but if you prep for it, you can maybe handle it better. And so... For me, I've always had these types of spiritual, like my own spirituality always in my corner. But sometimes I go to it when things maybe get a little bit hard or anything like that. So I wanna learn how to be able to do it, just a constant practice. But I love having these books back into my life. And I got a new book, which I'm really excited about reading, which is called Three Japanese Buddhist Monks. These are just really incredible, three medieval uh, Buddhist monks. Excited to dive into this book. There are three different Buddhist monks on here. Forgive me for the pronunci pronunciation, but I did try to look it up. So we got Sayo, Kamino, Kamino Kome, and Yoshiri Kenko. And I'm, I'm sorry if I butchered it. I did try to look it up how to pronounce it, but these three Buddhist monks, I will learn how to pronounce it better because I do like to know, make sure I'm pronouncing people's names right. So those are my, that's my mini book haul, a variety of different types of books um, between poetry and just self-help, self-help, spiritual guide, and of course, just some fantasy books as well. This is Alexis with Alexis Reads. Hopefully this is a quick and easy video for you to watch. And if you're familiar with any of these, or if you're interested in reading them, or if you have some of them, please let me know. Um, please also let me know your thoughts. And when it comes to Court of uh, Thorns and Roses, please do not spoil anything. I actually have not had any spoilers thus far. But anyways, leave some comments below. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you on my next video. Bye.